Hello and welcome to Wine, Spirits, and, and Witches. Witches. This is Monica. And I'm Shauna and we're your High Priestess of the Wine, Spirits, and Witches podcast. Today we're doing a quick video um, that was actually a listener request. Our dear friend Maline um, wrote in and as we all know there's a lot of strife, a lot of war and violence going on in Armenia and she had been feeling compelled to do some kind of healing or protection candle and we always talk on the podcast about how there's strength in numbers. Right. So when she wrote in and told us that she felt compelled to do that, we said, why don't we come up with one and do a quick video tutorial so that everybody watching at home can help and lend their power and their energy to this to help end the violence, end the war, protect everyone over there, and hopefully bring some peace. So today we're going to show you how to do a candle designed specifically for this. And we try to make it as minimal as possible with really easy to find ingredients just because we know that, you know, some people are really limited on what they can find. Not everyone is lucky enough to have an occult store down the street. Right. So exactly. we're going to start with a basic white candle. White is the um, universal color. So if you never know what color candle to use, you can always grab this because it's all encompassing for all intentions. And all colors. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start by anointing the candle. So with your two fingers, you're going to get some oil on it, and you're going to anoint from the middle up clockwise, and then the middle down clockwise, and then around the top. And have a paper towel, because you're going to need it. Yeah. Candle making is messy business. Okay. So the oil that we decided to use today was eucalyptus and mint. Eucalyptus is very healing, but we also decided to go with something with mint because mint has cooling properties. So to kind of lend the idea of cooling off the situation. Right. Now the next part is where it's going to get a little bit trickier. We're going to get a little fancy here. Um, so what we decided to do was use the colors from the Armenian flag, but to try and replicate it as much as possible. We're going to take our glitter and we're going to pour it in stripes according to color on our paper here. On our paper towel. Um, and as you know, glitter is the herpes of the arts and crafts world. It goes everywhere and it okay. stays. Yep. Um, but everyone is also a kindergartner when it comes to glitter. So this is slightly terrifying to make sure that we don't get it all over the place. So first we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our red stripe down. And then the next one that's going to go is going to be our blue stripe. Oh, that's a lot of blue glitter. Mm -hmm. There you go. And finally, we're going to finish up with our orange glitter, which is going to be our bottom stripe here. I probably should have made this a little bit longer, but that's okay. It doesn't have to cover the whole thing. And orange. But more shiny and more glitter is always better. Yes. It probably has nothing to do with the amount of magic that's going into it, but at least it will be sparkly as fuck. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so now that we have our glitter lined up, what you're going to do is you're going to take your candle by like the edge here right next to it, and you're just going to roll it right on through. And hopefully it's going to stay. And I'm just going to kind of keep going to see if I can get it completely solid. There, I got it on both both sides. That actually looks kind of cool. I'm pretty pretty proud of that. Beautiful. Not bad. And let's do it. You want to try the other side too? Mm-hmm. I don't know how we would do that though. Okay, let's see. Okay. There you go. Uh, not bad. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Now we have all this extra glitter. I mean, if you wanted to, you could probably sprinkle some on top. That's what I'm going to be doing. So it's, I'm just going to mix it. Because it, it does encompass. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of pinch and just mix it all on the top. Yep. So what you're going to do next, and since we don't have any little plates, because we're actually, I'm going to burn this at home on my own altar, but I'm going to show you guys just line it up on a little lid here. So generally when we do candles, we like to mix herbs into like the bottom of the jar, things like that. In this case, since what we had on hand and what we we're able to find was just basic white votives, is we're going to take the herbs that we want to use and we're actually going to put them at the bottom of the heat proof dish that you're going to use, whether it be a cauldron or a candle burner or whatever you're going to use, you're going to put the herbs at the bottom. And the herbs that we decided to use 
um, is first off a little bit of lavender for the calming properties. Not just to calm the situation down, but also hopefully to help soothe everyone's nerves that's over there. Because, you know, it's just all it's high a, pressure. There's so much. It's so tumultuous and so yeah. just so for volatile. Calm and yeah, for calm, yeah, and calm and peace. And then we have rosemary that we're going to go ahead and sprinkle in. And this is rosemary that Monica harvested herself. Yes, indeed. So we're going to sprinkle that along here, too. Now, rosemary is one of our favorite herbs. Um, we talk about it all the time on the podcast. All purpose herb. All purpose, protective as fuck. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and add that in. And then last but not least, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of dragon's blood resin to this. Just to punch it up a notch. Kick it in a notch. Yeah, dragon's blood definitely is like a power herb. Um, when I think of dragon's blood, I think of a dragon and I think of dragon power. So it's bringing in that protective force. It's amplifying your magic and giving everything this really huge boost. If you don't have any dragon's blood resin at home and it's not something that you have easy access to, I would just say go ahead and burn some dragon's blood incense while you're letting the candle burn. Mm -hmm. um, dragon's blood incense is super easy to find. Honestly, a lot of times you'll even find them at the dollar store in stick form or even liquor stores sometimes have yeah, them. True. Yeah. So it is something that you can easily find. Right. And it be nice. And don't forget to charge your candle, the most important thing. Yes. Yeah, so how do you want to charge it today? Well, I usually charge it by the four quarters mm -hmm. and the goddess and the god. So what are the four quarters? If anyone's listening that doesn't doesn't know or hasn't followed the podcast um so by the powers of the north face the north by the powers of the east by the powers of the south by the powers of the west by the powers of the goddess and god the heavens and the stars the moon and the sun i hereby charge this candle to do my bidding so mode it be and it shall be so mode it be and it shall be and now we have this awesome little candle here Ready to go. Ready to go. So we encourage all of our listeners, everyone watching, if you want to go ahead and do something at home where you can lend some of your own energy, intention, and power, this is a really easy thing. You have a lot of easy access to the ingredients. And remember, if there's stuff that you can't find, you can always omit it or try and substitute it if you absolutely couldn't find lavender or something like that you know because the intention is what's key here so just do your best to try and find it and let's get these lit and let's lend our powers to try and Armenia. help keep armenia safe yeah so thank you so much for tuning in and checking this out check back soon we'll have more up and in that note merry, merry meet, meet merry part and merry meet, meet again, again.